Hey guys, and welcome back to Haunting Ground. When we last left off, we were making some pretty good progress. We finally escaped the water tower, and on top of that, we got our old costume back. Uh, without our boots, though, for some reason. And Huey's lost somewhere. So we find ourselves in a new area. We've got a drinks fountain there apparently down there we've got some flammable boxes that I guess we're going to be playing with at some point uh, I'm not really sure what this is about though is actually anything oh ooh. the fire spouts <clears throat> showers of sparks into the air okay can we like Hmm. Alright, well. I guess there's not much we can do there for now. So, Huey is also missing somewhere. I assume... He's here somewhere. You say I assume. Is he, like... Gonna catch up with us, or what? Really? Do I... Might have to go back and get him. Because I've got a feeling he's stuck in the tower. Now, if we remember... Uh, if Huey gets locked behind a door, then he's kind of locked behind a door. There's nothing we can actually do. Come on. Come on. Yes, he's locked. So he's trapped somewhere, isn't he? <sighs> God damn it. Huey! Seriously? You can't just like jump over and rejoin us? Where is he? He's Yeah, he's up here. But where? Where are you, little dog? Um, you shouldn't be running into the wall, Fiona. Where is he? He's above us. Yeah, so he's stuck here. We, oh, God damn it. Seriously, Huey? Seriously, dude? Come on. Come on. Right. Can he... There we go. <laughs> that was kind of annoying. I'm curious. Like, if we'd left him there, would he have been stuck for... Well, I... Hmm... I wouldn't have thought he'd be stuck for the rest of the game because I'm guessing uh, there are certain parts of the game coming up that he's probably required to be there. Huey. Come on, Huey. Come on, boy. Come on. It's enough arsing around. Fiona's getting skinny here. All this running back and forth. Poor girl. I guess she's had a can of monster, that's for sure. Right, let's go. Come on, Huey. Come on. Now, we've basically killed everybody apart from diabetes and the old man. So, that's going to be interesting. Come on, buddy. There we go. Okay. So what do we know? Oh, actually, I was going to say, what do we know? I wonder if we can take Huey down here. I wonder if he can find something for us. Come down here, dude. Can you find me anything down here? Go, Huey. Have a little sniff around. To be honest, that whole ability of him going around finding items hasn't... Oh, he has found something. I was going to say, hasn't actually been that useful throughout the entirety of this game. Okay. Well, what do I know, I suppose? We've probably missed loads of items. Well, that's okay. Good boy. That's okay, little Huey. You found me another uh, medal to 
throw on the pile, I suppose. Come on, Huey. Let's keep going. I wonder if there's anything over this side. You never know, kids. You never know. Go, Huey. Huey, go. Go. Huey. go. Now, if you find something, you shall be honoured in the coming empire. Wait, have you found something, or...? No. Nope. You will not be honoured in the coming empire, Huey. Sorry, buddy, but that's what you get for giving me false hope. Okay, so let's go through one of these doors, I guess, and start exploring. That's... Uh, I didn't actually want to send you through there. It's more thinking about uh, having a little look. Can we not examine it? I guess not. Oh, hello. Come on, Huey. That's got to really hurt, kicking those open with your bare feet. Ooh, that's not great, is it? We'll soak that damage for now. So we've got a way down. What else have we got? We have a violet door. And an interesting looking door. Old man. Poor Fiona. Ricardo put you through quite a bit, didn't he? Unlike Ugo, he was always a troublemaker, a bad apple. The fuck? Someone get this guy a towel. But then along came that wench, Ayla. She stole Ugo away from me. That was mother. Of course. And then you came along, my dear. My dear Fiona. Fate brought you back to me. Uh mine. All mine. <laughs> yep, we got another one. Calm down, Wills. Damn. So, like, literally everybody. Ooh. What the hell? Wait. The fuck? He's literally crawling along the floor. Alright, well, I'm, I was not expecting that. <laughs> okay. Oh, this guy sucks. Oh, Huey, get out of the way. Seriously? This is the next dude? Um... I don't know what to make of this, and I've just kicked Huey, which is not great. So this motherfucker is literally just crawling along on the floor. Um, okay. Well, let's take him out. Go get him, Huey. Go get him. We're just gonna, <laughs> literally just going to keep kicking him. I mean, what kind of threat is this dude? Oh, Huey, get out of the way. That is 
such a lame bit of game design there. Oh, I hate that. Like, Huey just literally gets in the way. All the time. The whole idea that you can actually kick him is insane to me. Right, well, we're just going to keep kicking this old man in the face until he, I don't know, expires? I can do this all day with my dainty little feet. I'm going to have a good time doing it. Wait, can we actually take him out, I wonder? Wait, can we not take him out? I'm curious now. He seems to be... We do have the silver boots on. Yeah, you can stop attacking me. Okay, we almost took him out, I guess. <laughs> That's never going to get old. Right. Come on, Huey. I guess we're getting out of here. In case the old man cometh. And slowly... Oh, actually, not that slowly. Crawls along the floor. It's... Kind of getting ridiculous now. Ooh, hello. What is that? Golden candlestick. Um. An ornate candlestick made of solid gold. It's currently unlit. Right, one second, guys. Right, okay, cool. And we're back. Uh, a split second of editing. But for me, that was nearly eight hours. <laughs> uh, but hey, it's all good. It's all gravy, baby. Right, so it looks like our little friend. This is connected to another corridor, but... These foreboding bars seem to keep out all unwanted guests. Yours truly included. Hmm. Oh, shit. Don't kick Huey. Right, come on, pooch. Let's get up here. Looks like our friend. Oh! Where's he crawled off to? Kind of curious. So, I'm guessing with this candle then, we can set off and explode these boxes. That would be my guess anyway. If not, then, well. I don't know, Chief. Um. Yeah, so a fire spout showers. The fire spouts showers of sparks into the air. Right. We can't use the golden candlestick there. <coughs> um. Okay. We can't use the golden candlestick there. Alright, well, I guess there's more to be explored. I mean, we've got a very fast old crippled man zooming around. He's literally got the zoomies like a cat. I mean, it's not really that intimidating, is it? Can we do anything with this? No. So, Fiona. Ooh, is that a door? That is not a door. And we can't go in there. So that is locked. So we only really have whatever's... Oh. No, I guess we can't actually reach that. I was wondering if we could... Can we not reach any of these, like, braziers? Maybe not. Um, so we got a candle from there, and as far as I can tell, oh, we can't do anything. Okay, so we we must have to put the candle somewhere. We need to get some fire, and the. Oh, it's like a 
the door that's locked, apparently. Right, so we must have... To get that somehow. So what have we got? Music's dying away. Which generally means... Our scrabby little friend is around here somewhere. Yeah, you want your ass off. Come here and get your ass off then. I'm going to kick your fucking head in, you prick. Right. Oh, Huey. Don't hit my dog. That's it, Huey. That's it. Let's see if we can just kick this shit out of this old man. Right. Huey. Get him. That's it. This is teamwork. I say it's teamwork. It's ridiculously difficult to actually do anything to this guy. So we've got another medallion. Right, so good boy, Huey. Let's give... Oh, we got... Right, yeah. Okay. Let's give the pooch something to eat. And it makes him happy as well, so... Making Huey happy makes me happy. So, we've kicked him in the teeth. Uh, so there's, the thing is, there's literally, there's nothing here. Is that me over here? Well, maybe. Why don't you come hither and find out? Kind of tempted to kick his ass again. Oh. I thought we were rumbled. Maybe not. <laughs> I mean, that is pretty ridiculous. Oh, Capcom. Capcom and its villains. I mean, seriously. He's just going to be in this room now for ages, isn't he? Just <laughs> crawling around. Dude, that's got to be exhausting, just dragging your ass around like that. Like, what was wrong with the wheelchair? I mean, this almost feels unfair, in a way. Is he going back upstairs? Huey, chill out. Right. I'm guessing as the music stops, he's gone upstairs. Um, okay. So is there anything in here that we can actually examine? I mean, there's a chair. Is he coming back again? Don't think he's coming back again. Right. Uh, I suppose now we can drop another save. So what can we do? We literally... Oh, can we do anything with these plants? Oh. oh, it's just a hiding space. We don't really need a hiding space, do we? Um, I guess we can have a look inside the hole, but I, there's going to be nothing of any real use in here, is there? So what key items do we have? We've still got the bronze figurine and the silver disc. But... That doesn't mean that we actually need to use them somewhere, I suppose. Uh, okay. I mean, we've got the dog there. We can't do anything with the dog. You would have thought maybe we could pick up a chair. Oh. Is there a way of picking up the chair? I mean, it kind of seems like a no-brainer to just grab a chair. And then use the fire. Use the actual candle. Like, it seems really obvious that that's what we have to do. It seems painfully obvious that that's what we have to do. Hmm. 
Really? <laughs> Made of solid gold. It's currently unlit. Okay. So... We don't have a map of this area either. Which is perplexing. Alright, well, let's... I suppose get restored. I'm assuming that if we do this, it restores um, Huey as well. Now that's some good water. All good. Because we don't like stinky water. But the thing is, there's nothing here, is there? Go, Huey. Nope. I thought that was a little hole that he could go into. Guess not. Right, so... All that's down there is the door that leads down. Come on. And it leads down to a dead end. There's nothing there, unless there's like... Can't kick that door down. It's definitely locked. Unless... Unless we go backwards, but I can't remember anything back where we came from that's actually closed. And... Oh! Can we put the bronze statue down? Where we picked up the gold... Uh, candle. I mean, I can't really see that being a thing. Because... Yeah, we can't actually search this. But let's try it. Nope. No. And this does nothing. Connected to another corridor, but these foreboding bars seem to keep out all unwanted guests. Yours truly included. Um. There has got to be something. Oh. So. So what do we do different? Okay, I have no idea why it worked that time. Uh oh. He's not going to try and crawl in her, is he? Fiona! <laughs> Fiona! <laughs> yeah, get fucked, old man. <laughs> Crush his head for good measure. Right, so, okay, that opens up another door. Yeah, uh, I don't know why. Um, all right, I mean, okay, whatever. I guess it was a glitch, I'm not sure. So where the hell are we now? Also, good boy. Good boy. Right, where, oh, hello, what's this? At least I got another medal from fighting him again, so profit, I guess. Right, sweet FA there. I guess. Dribbling arsehole's not done yet, then. Really? I mean, this guy is, after everything else we've dealt with, this guy's such a non-threat. Like, he's almost comically useless as a villain. 
Um, I'm not really sure what to say, to be honest, apart from the fact that I'm going to enjoy kicking 10 bales of shit out of this guy. Damn. Yeah, you're dead again. At least he's giving us some, like, decent medals, I suppose. Decent medallions, medals, whatever you want to call them. Um. Oh. Alright, that just leads us to there. Curious. And the dickhead's coming again. No, Huey, take him out. But, dude, just give it up whilst you're ahead. I mean, you're not really ahead. I guess that was a poor choice of phrasing. But, give it up. Keep going, Huey. Huey, keep going. Do my dirty work for me. Good lad. I suppose we can kick this guy in the head a little bit as well. You are... Absolutely pathetic. But considering some of the other like weird things that we fought that have actually been genuinely pretty rough, that guy is pathetic. Now where the hell are we now? What is this? What's all this nonsense in here, Huey, eh? This looks like a demolisher. These things are used to smash large rocks into bits so they can more easily be disposed of. Alright. Well, I... I guess if we get some... some rocks that need to be smashed... Sure. Looks like a power generator. The switch is turned on, but it's not getting any power. Well, that's unfortunate. A good jolt might... Oh, of course. Let me guess. Three? It's always three. It's literally always three. So we've got a rock crusher. Hey, you know who would fit quite nicely in that? The crawling old man. Just saying. Oh, really? As if on cue. Hey, old man. Um. Right, so I guess. I guess we've got a. Why are we. Oh. Oh, I see what we've got to do. That only runs for a certain amount of time. So we've got to get this weak ass piece of shit onto this conveyor belt. Come, you old pervert. You want my ass off? Come get it. Oh, he's, he's been a bit of a crafty one. Huey. Go get him. Oh. Nope. Are you on this thing or what? Now you're on it. That's it. So we've just got to take this old man out. And then hopefully... Yeah, damn. Right, give me the stuff. What have you got? Hey, not bad. Right, let's go squish this sack of shit into tomorrow. Actually, if we kick the right thing. Right, is he on it? Or is he going to crawl his ass off? Yes. Beg. Beg. <laughs> oh, that's tooth. <laughs> oh, it's the key. Would have been funny if it was his teeth. Just me? Okay. A key, but for what? Oh, the soul key. For the door. Yes. Hey, good boy, Huey. Good boy. Come here, boy. Come here. I got just what you need. Alright, so we've just literally crushed the old man to death in a deliciously satisfactory way. Hey, our boy. Good dog. Good doggo. Right. Let's have a little walk through here, shall we? Uh, of course, the door's locked. We need to use the soul key. I'm guessing we can use it upstairs as What the fuck is this? 
Well, whatever this is, it's a save room. Right, I'm, well, I mean, I guess we're okay to explore now. You know, with Granddaddy being squished into a fine pulp, which the world and his wife rejoiced at. Couldn't have happened to her last year. Oh, hang on, this is different. Room connects to another corridor, but okay. Right, yeah, these are all the other uh, connecting passageways. I see. I'm picking up what you're putting down. Alright. So, that's. They're locked. That one's locked. That's locked. Alright, well, there was another soul door over the other side, wasn't there? But, we're on half an hour. So, let's go... Did I... No. I was going to say I thought I heard him, but... Nah. No way. Why are you just being paranoid? There's no way he survived that, is there? Ah, uh, Huey's not growling. It's just my imagination. Right, okay. So, let's give this a save. When we come back, we're going to go into the other soul door before we explore the one down below. Um, well, I mean, that's one way to deal with unwanted grandparents, I suppose. Huh. Especially the evil ones that, you know, don't give you an inheritance, apparently. Well, that's not true. That's not true at all, because Fiona has got quite the inheritance, apparently. Then she doesn't get it until she gets rid of the grandparents. Hmm. Which we've just done. So who's next, then? We've killed the old man. Hmm. Do we know any other members here? We've killed the old man. We've killed the maid. I guess. I mean, I don't know if she's technically dead, but she locked in place. Diabetes has chilled out. Um, Ricardo, well, I mean, maybe, but he, he I'm pretty sure he's dead. I don't know. Unless there's some other thing that we haven't seen yet, which to be fair is quite probable. Yeah. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching and as always, till next time.